Hi guys, welcome back to Thrifty Mama Scraps. So, what I am going to do today is I am going to um, put together page kits for my December daily album. And how I do this process is I have a bunch of two gallon baggies that I just use over and over again. And then I'll, um, I'll start out with the paper pad and kind of in the same way I do my planner videos, I just kind of um, pick through the scraps and kind of put it together and see what matches. And then um, I make page kits. So this is going to be a three part video. The first part is just going to be papers. The second part is going to be um, adding embellishments to the page kit. And then the third part will be um, putting the page kit together in the December daily itself. So that'll be a process video. So bear with me while I use this tripod. I'm trying to use my son's tripod this time versus my tripod and hopefully it works better. Um, that way I can have use of both of my hands. So I'm gonna try this, see what happens and um, you can kind of follow along and watch and whatever. So, um, so the first thing that I do is I kind of just go through and see if there's any that speak to me right away that I want to use. Um, this would be good for the tree, getting the tree. So I'll take that one out. This would also be a good one for getting the tree. Tree one. I kind of like that. Ooh, I like that too. That's a good tree one too. This one's kind of busy, but I could fussy cut some of these trees out. Um, I think this will be the background right there. So, thinking. I do like this gray plaid though too, but I might use that for something else. Okay, so let's see if there's anything in here that kind of grabs my eye as far as, now this would be cute for a December background page or to closely cut out. That would be a cute one. These are cut apart. Some cut aparts in here. These can be cut apart. These, this is really cute paper too for decorating outside the house. So that would be a cute background. Um, let's see. I'm hoping you guys can see this. That would be cute for like snow. This would be cute for snow out. Oh, here's a cute tree one too. So I am probably going to take, probably make a few tree ones. Um, because my December daily is small, I usually only do one photo per page or per day in my December daily, but um, there will probably be several photos of the tree. Um, one will be getting the tree or cutting it down and I think I'm going to use this gray paper for that this gray tree paper for that and then decorating the tree I think um, I will probably use this paper unless I fussy cut that out it depends either this or this as a background and then I'll probably take a picture of the tree once like there's presents under it and stuff like that. So there's more cut apart. This is really cute from the snow and cocoa line. Very, very cute. So that's a cut apart calendar page. Even though these are um, seasonal, like, um, 
holiday themed books. Um, a lot of these papers can be used any time of the year. So I try to use um, the seasonal ones specifically for the season and then if I have any leftover I just put it back in my scrapbooking stash to use throughout the year or to use the following year in my December daily. So I've gone through that one. So I've got a couple ideas so far for page kits and how my brain works um, is I um, usually work on like three, three to five pages at a time and I go through and I just kind of sort it all out and then I'll stick them all in the bags. So you can kind of see my process that way. And I tend to go through the books first. Um, see if anything works with that. Some old fashioned cut apart. Sure about those. Quite a few cut aparts actually. Ooh, those snowflakes are cute. I really like those. They're pretty. I wonder if that kind of matches in a way. So I might stick one there. Looks like there's three of each pattern in this paper pad. Um it's just says Merry Christmas. Um the boys are working on Christmas songs right now for piano. Um, the recital was in November, so there won't be a December recital. But I plan to make a page of the boys practicing their Christmas songs, so I'll do that. And this is more cut apart. Try to pull the cut apart out just because then I know that they won't be used for background pages at all. Um, there's bells. Um, there's a nice plaid, I like that. That kind of goes with this tree page. I'll stick that with that. Um, I hope this is in focus because I cannot really tell. Um, these are kind of border strips which can be used in different ways. So these can be cut apart as well. I probably won't use these as background paper. Um, Santa's. This reminds me of Disney. I probably use those for Disney pages, actually. Here's some more. I might actually stick that with the music one. Doesn't really have Hunter's playing Carol of the Bells um, right now, and I'm not sure what song Ethan is playing for Christmas this year. Um, for lessons, looks like there's a. Number two, these are these. This is a stamp set that I own that's got numbers on it, and I just stamped a whole bunch of them. Somehow it got in this paper pad strain, but um, what I do is I cut them out, and then that labels my days for my December daily. Okay, so I'm gonna go through these scraps and see if any of these go with anything. I want to try to find um, this is definitely candy and cookies. 
Although this little tree candy could work with getting the tree. I love this buffalo check. What could that go with? I kind of like that with the reindeer. That's kind of cute. I think that kind of goes with that. Strong red. Kind of goes with that. Black. I kind of like this with the tree, but then that doesn't really go, except for there is a black outline there. Oh no. Hmm. I kind of like these two papers together, but then not with that. So, like, that's separate. That kind of works. This kind of reminds me of a road. I don't know if that goes with that. It does kind of match this yellow house. I'll just set that there. I'm not for sure on that yet. Um, Matches that. <clears throat> this reminds me of snow. Let me put that. This, um, I forget what the name of this kind of paper is, but there's a doily. I like it with the music. Candy cane, stripe scrap. That would go. That kind of goes with that tail. Set that there. Um, there is a tree. A different color. Green. Really go with that or that. It's more of this buffalo check. Um, move this back real quick. Blue. Doesn't really match anything. It says January. That might be good for New Year's Eve to pick up that train piece of paper that fell on the floor. Because that, I'll probably use Hunter actually bought the Hogwarts Express train and he just needs to get the tracks and he wants to put it around the base of the Christmas tree, which I think will be really kind of cool um, because it will run by itself. And he bought it, um, the Lego, the Lego version, of course. And so I'm pretty sure I'll take a picture of that. And I used a border punch with that. So I definitely want to, um, I kind of like that together, these snowflakes and these trees. Um, but I don't know if that's too busy for both of them. I kind of like that too, though. Hmm. I don't know. If this is in the background and I just fussy cut some trees out. I kind of like that too, but then not that. Huh. I think I like that better. Of course, there's this, these snowflakes, too, which are larger. But there wasn't any snow when we got our tree. So that doesn't really work. And here's another plaid. Green plaid. Hmm. I 
And of course, these are not going to be the only pages in my December daily. These are just, it looks like I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pages going right now. And, um, and that's about as many that, I, that I'll have going at one time. I mean, tops. So... I just kind of go around and see which ones match. That kind of goes with that. It doesn't go with anything. And once I have my page kits done, it just makes it a whole lot easier to start the page and put the album together fairly quickly. I like these as cut aparts. I think I might use it over here. Music. Um, some green vellum. Might use that with that. Some more snowballs. Because I live in Illinois, there's never any definite um, promise that we're going to have snow for Christmas. I mean, we've gotten snow a couple times already this year. Um, and it's melted. Last week at this time, we actually had quite a bit of snow. And Maybe I'll put that black piece there. Oh, I like that. There's a tree there. This would be cute for outdoor. Yeah. Um, so there's never any guarantee that we're gonna have snow for Christmas. Some Christmases we do, some we don't. Um, I think I want to grab the full sheets yet or not. Probably not. I think I want to get rid of the, um, I think I want to get rid of the scraps first. Joy. Oh, that's cute. Pooh decorating the tree. That would be cute with that. That kind of matches nicely. Um, more snowflake paper. goes my dog barking because he barks at everything. This is actually left over from last year's December daily. Is the background page. What are you barking at? You just bark at everything. No one's here. You gotta go get Hunter. Okay. Yes, soon. I kind of like this, but but anyways, what I was saying is this is a background page. Um, it was going to be a foundation page for last year's because I used a binder. A binder style and I didn't end up using this page so but it's cute I like it just trying to figure out what it would go good with that's too busy but that pink I kind of like that together that side with that as a background 
This is pretty. These birds. I don't know where to put that. I almost like, if I take that one away, I almost like that. And that goes with that. Um, so this can be a long process or it can be a shorter process. It's not really um, anything that um, has to take a long time. Um, here's another tree one that might be nice of the tree farm if I want to do a one. I know I took some pictures of the tree farm that we went to. But anyways, once I get um, all of my pages done, that's kind of cute with the bow. Might be cute with that. Um, and I get them put in the bags. Then I'll set them vertically in this plastic bin is kind of what I always do. It's a larger piece of that and it's actually got a heart punched out of it. Um, then I start working on what I need to work on. I start working on the December daily. I kind of like that. That reminds me of Barnwood. other tree paper a lot of tree paper I might keep that with that just as a possibility give myself some options so what can I talk about while I'm putting these page kits together let's see what are my December plans? Well, my parents are coming December 8th, the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. My mom works at a bank and she, normally they come for my birthday, which was yesterday, but they did not, they couldn't come because my mom had to work at the bank. The bank was open um, yesterday and Friday actually. So, she had to work so they couldn't come and my dad is retired from the sheriff's department but he um he did not like being retired so he went back to work part-time i guess it was driving him nuts oh i like that it was driving him nuts to be at home all the time um so he went back to work at a school as a part-time janitor, which he loves, and um, so he only works a couple times a week as a part-time janitor at the school, and it gets him out of the house, which makes him happy. Especially during the winter months you know um, they live in Missouri and you can't really fish all year you know he likes to fish he likes to hunt um, all that kind of stuff but you know there's only he there's not a whole lot for him to do 
even though they live on the lake, it's during, you know, when it starts getting cold. So, um, so they're coming on the 8th and we're going to do Christmas with them, which is kind of something that we do every year. Um, because it's impossible for all of us to get together. My sister, um, Jennifer, she lives in the same town as mom and dad do in Warsaw, Missouri. And then, um, well, mom and dad actually live, they, their address is not Warsaw. It's, they live out in the country. So, um, it's actually a different name, but my sister and her husband, they live, and family, they live, um, in Warsaw. And my sister teaches, I'm not sure if she's teaching this year, actually. She has been teaching at, um, the Applewood School, which is a private school, um, in Sedalia. And, um, but she's also been working f at the Air Force Base um, in child, um, as a child care teacher. So I'm not exactly sure what she's doing this year. I really haven't had a chance to talk to her a lot this year just because of how busy we've been. We love each other. We love to talk to each other. My family is very close-knit. It's just we tend to get very busy. And, well, I think all fa a lot of families do. And then you kind of, the little details of your life don't get um, talked about as much as you'd like them to. So, um and we text back and forth all the time and, and, um, talk to each other all the time. It's just, I don't know why I, I know that she, the last time I talked to her, she was doing both and I don't, and I, I think I talked to her and she, I think the last time I talked to her, she was doing both and she was thinking about only going down to one and working at the Air Force Base. Um, but I'm not sure. So anyways, um, we will send our gifts for them back. And we've been texting back and forth what our kids want, what's on their list, what my sister's birthday is in December. And she's three years younger than me. And so, um, I'll send her birthday present back with mom and dad, along with, um, along with their Christmas presents. And then my brother lives in Sedalia, which is about an hour from where my mom and dad live with his girlfriend and their kids. And so I'll send their gifts back with them and... Then um, my Aunt Vernon and Uncle Ray, I usually just get them like candy or something like that. And then my grandma lives in the nursing home, um, not far from Warsaw. And um, I'll send her gifts um, back as well. So, and then they'll send all their stuff up with mom and dad. And then usually we open our gifts from mom and dad um while they're here and then they open their gifts from us while they're here but we will save everybody else's gifts for Christmas we just stick it under the tree so so it's just really hard I have a um foster sister who my mom and dad did foster care for about 10 years when I was when my sister and brother were growing up with me and um I'm the oldest and then there's my sister Jenny and then my brother Kenny 
and my brother Kenny was adopted. Um, we adopted him when he was three months old. And then um, my, um, my sister Ann, she came to live with us when she was a senior in high school. And she, her and her sister um, were, were foster kids that lived with us. Um, and her sister, um, she did not, she wasn't a good fit for our family. Um, there were some struggles. And um, so her sister decided that she wanted to live with, um, with her dad in Canada um, because their mom couldn't have them. And um, so she moved to Canada and then, and then, but her sister Ann um, didn't want anything to do with her family um, at all. And she was a senior in high school when she came to live with us and she became very close to our family and we, kind of adopted her. We didn't formally adopt her, but we, um, she, we consider her our family and she considers us her family and her kids call my mom and dad, Nani and Papa, and they're the only, we're the only relatives that her children and her family, um, consider like, um, relatives they they kind of she kind of wrote um her mom and her well her dad passed away um several years ago so um after she was an adult and I think she still keeps in touch with them but she's not as close to them as she is to um our family so she is my sister she's older than me she's um she's well, she graduated in 83 and I graduated in 86. And then my sister Jenny graduated in 89. And then my brother Kenny graduated in 94, I wanna say. I think he graduated in 94. But, um, so, and then we've had, we had other foster um, kids in our home too. Um, some other girls too and they just didn't, they didn't stay very long they just um, stayed for a few months and then they were um, temporary placement but but it made our house interesting that's for sure growing up because we always had you know all, we always had kids our age to play with and we always had girls we never had any foster um, brothers or boys in our home Mom and Dad always strictly just wanted girls. So, but that kind of made our family larger and it was fun. Most of the time it was fun. This has ornaments and I really want to use it for like decorating the tree. I'm trying to figure out. I kind of like it with this, actually, because that has gray in it. It doesn't really match this paper. Oh, I'm not sure what to do here. I'm kind of lost in my train of thought. So, anyway, so our family consists of my sister, Anne, who is three years older than me, then me, then my sister Jennifer and my brother Kenny so there's four of us and um, my sister Anne has two daughters no grandchildren yet um, I have three boys um, kind of a grandchild um, I kind of consider him a grandchild um, my my son is dating a girl who is a foster parent to her nephew and so um so I kind of consider him a grand a grandson even though he's her sister's child so um so 
no matter what, if he goes back to her sister, which they are hoping that he does, um, then he, um, he'll still be in their life. So I think that's kind of cool that he won't, like, disappear from their life or, because I know that that's been hard for us with some of the kids that, you know, we've had in our home. You just don't know if you'll ever see them again. So, um, I really kind of like that with that, but that goes with that, too. I guess I could do two pages, two different pages of that, because I really like how these two look. I don't know. There's some pink. Pink. Like that. I don't know. Oops, here's another page. That was going to be used for, um, for my December daily last year. I might just use these as labels, cut apart labels. I do that. Like this. Um, Anyways, they're coming on that weekend, and we'll hang out. We'll do my birthday one night, and then we'll do Christmas another night. Um, generally, when they come, we don't do a whole lot. We just kind of have a relaxing visit. Um, we don't usually go anywhere or do anything special while they're here. Um, And then um, we usually go to the Christmas parade during the month of December. Um, and we always have a 4-H Christmas party. So we'll have that. Um, Scott's work has a Christmas party this um, this month but we're not going to be able to go because it's the same day that my parents are going to be here and so I told him there's no point in him even taking off work just he can just work while my parents are here because it's not that big of a deal And then, um, we'll watch lots of movies. We always, the kids and I really like watching Christmas movies. Um, and we'll do our Advent tree and we'll take the boys Christmas shopping. Now Hunter has his own income because he's working at Walmart and he wants to buy his own Christmas presents this year which I think is awesome um, that he wants to take the initiative and buy his own gifts this year um, so I think we're going to plan it a little bit differently than we do most years um, usually we do a Christmas shopping trip with the kids um, where we go to the mall and then um, we just kind of switch off and let the kids pick out um, gifts for everybody. And then um, I'll probably take, well, either Scott or I will take his mom Christmas shopping because um, she doesn't drive. And so um, she can't get to the store unless one of us take her 
or her friends take her. So, um, and she doesn't normally go shopping with her friends that much. I mean, she'll go with them, but she won't, um, it won't be for herself. She usually doesn't buy anything for herself when she's with her friends. So, um, or prob she probably won't do any Christmas shopping when she's with them. I like that sweater paper, but I don't know. Um, so, we'll take her shopping and I like that too. What does that go? I like the navy with that. I kind of like that with that, but I've got enough paper with that. How about this? I kind of like that. Um, so we'll do that. And it looks like the way Scott's schedule is this year is he has to work on Christmas um, 3 to 11. So we'll probably do Christmas in the morning um, with our family and with his mom and her family on Christmas Eve, I think is how we're going to do it because he ha he works um, in the morning of Christmas Eve. So we'll do that. You know, it'll probably be pretty laid back. I don't think that we're, it seems like a really slow December to me this year because we just don't have a lot of plans. And it seems like we always have more plans um, in December than we do this year. But everything was kind of, you know, we usually go on vacations and do things. But this year has really been thrown for a loop. Been thrown for, for a loop. Or through a loop. Or I'm not sure what I'm saying. But anyway, um, because of all this stuff going on with my heart, I've, you know, I've been working out so much that that's kind of been put as a priority this year and, um, just trying to get healthy again. And I mean, my family is really understanding about it and I'm glad that they are, but it's made it hard to go anywhere and do a lot of things. So I've been able to, um, Um, stay home and work out and you know and do what I need to do so um, and honestly it's it's been fun I mean I'm kind of glad that this year has just been kind of laid back and and less busy if I've learned anything in this whole ordeal is not to be so busy all the time. You know, it's not that important to cram pack everything into your day or your month or whatever. But, um, I'm not okay. I'm okay with that. And each year is different. You just never know what's going to happen or what um what the year's gonna throw at ya because things change so I think I have quite a lot of um different choices of paper. I like that wood grain with that. Um, oh, here's a good panel. Well, that doesn't match, so. Ugh. That doesn't match. That's definitely a piano. Hmm. How could I do that? I could ink the edges like a burgundy. I don't know. I might have a, an embellishment that's a piano. That would work better. <clears throat> so 
So, but anyways, this here just seems like it's it's kind of slow and kind of relaxing and not really too busy. Um, I usually tutor a lot more kids than I'm tutoring this year. So that's kind of nice. But that's kind of slow and, you know, just everything is kind of just falling into place the way the way it's supposed to. And that's okay. I'm okay with that. And I really like that gold paper, this glittery gold. I like glitter. I'm just a sparkly kind of girl. I like glitter. So I think in January, one of my friends is having a scrapbooking retreat in January. Um, she has it every year. And I haven't gone the past probably three or four years just because I haven't felt all that well um, and I feel a lot better this year so I think I'm gonna go this year and depending on where it is honestly um, in years past she has had it at um, this Lutheran camp up in near Leroy Illinois and um, It the cabins that you stay in are so cold. I mean, one year I brought my own heater with me because it was so cold. The room was so cold. Um, and I'm not a person that likes to scrapbook all night long. I just can't do it. My brain like turns off after a certain time um, of night. I can't think anymore. And when I get to that point, I just have to go to bed. That's I'm done for the night. So, um, so depending on if it's there, I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, that's really pretty. That looks like the larger version of this. Is it? It's similar. Huh, I don't think it's the same collection. In fact, I'm sure it's not the same collection, but it sure matches. This is Santa stop here. I'll probably use this Christmas Eve, actually. And I'm not gonna start that page yet, so. That is another one. But, um, so I'll probably go to that retreat if, it it just depends. If it's, if it's there, I might not go, just because it is so cold. And, and I am, I'm, the type of person that's like heat intolerant and cold intolerant. It's just, I'm really weird that way. I don't like it too hot and I don't like it too cold. And I'm just picky. I'm picky. So, and I'm getting old. So you learn what you like. As you age, you learn what you like and what you don't like. And you just kind of live your life differently, I think. You know, you just, I know that I, when I was younger, I just kind of, you know, went with the flow a lot more than what I do now. Now I'm less likely to go with the flow. I just kind of, um, I'm more particular about everything. Um, it's, it's strange actually. I don't know. I don't know if everybody's like that, but I know I am. I'm particular about the things that I buy. I'm more particular about the places that I go. Um, more particular about um, the foods that I eat. Just everything. It's strange, but maybe that happens to everybody as they age. They get more particular and more um, 
Or maybe they just know what they like and what they don't like. And, you know, once you get to a certain age, you just know those things. And then you just don't want to bother, you know, with the, the other things. So, so I don't know if I want to spend the weekend doing that. And I am rambling and I apologize. But... So I may or may not go to that. But um, tonight we're gonna decorate our Christmas tree, and we're gonna watch um, Christmas Vacation, which is something that we usually do when we decorate the tree, is we watch that movie. Kind of like to use this piece of paper because I read a lot of books. So, I'd like to do a page on the books that I've read in December, and it kind of goes with these, so I think I'm just going to stick it with the piano one, and kind of make a couple pages with that, because you can make more than one page with, you know, the, the page kits that you put together. So, I kind of like that too. goes to. So we're going to decorate the tree and we're having um, meatball subs and french fries and a vegetable for dinner tonight and then um, tomorrow I didn't exercise today at all. Yesterday, I walked two and a half miles. And tomorrow, I'll exercise. Because I have rehab in the morning. And I'll do that. And I think I'm going to wear my knee brace tomorrow. Because my knee... Um, I'm doing... I'm working a little bit harder than I have been. And... Um, And my knee has been bothering me again. So whenever it bothers me, then I wear my knee brace. But otherwise, I don't always wear my knee brace. So I think I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, it looks like there's more sheets down here. And, um... These are really cute with Winnie the Pooh. Except for I kind of want to save these for when we... Someday I want to go to Disney, like, at Christmas time. I've never gone to Disney at Christmas time. This is kind of cool for shopping. For Christmas shopping. So I think I'm going to use this for a page as well. So... That's navy blue. That kind of goes with that. So, that's what I want to do. I think I'm going to save most of these poo ones for someday when I go to Disney. If I go to Disney. I don't know. You just never know. So, well, I think I have enough pages right now together. I can't stick that there. That's the other part. trees. I think maybe this with that too. So I think I'm going to use that there. So I think I'm going to end this video here because I've been kind of rambling not knowing what to talk about really while I'm doing this. But I hope you saw, you know, you got an idea of what um, or how I start putting my start the process of putting my papers together for my page kits. Um, it's kind of cute. I might use that with that. Snowman with that. Calendar with that. 
That's kind of cool with that. Um, so, anyways, I think I'm going to bag these up. And then when you see the next video, um, I will be adding embellishments to each of these page kits. So, um, I'm probably not going to do another page one uh, or another um, process video of me putting papers together unless you want me to. If you want me to um, do another one like this where I put several other um, paper kits together like um, Nicole Jones 911 does on YouTube, I will. But if you don't want me to do that, um, because I'm a much smaller channel than she is, um, then I will just um, move on. I'll do those off camera, um, the rest of the page kits off camera, and then I will come back and add embellishments to all the kits once I have them put together because um, that'll go a lot faster because then I'll know exactly what I'm matching to instead of trying to match papers together and so forth. So. Um, and this video is probably getting long anyway. So I will talk to you soon, or I'll see you soon. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to have time to um, start the embellishments, um, adding the embellishments. Um, my plan is to get all of these videos up before December 1st because that is when I will be putting together my December daily. Um, and then I'll know what pages need to go where. Um, I think I'm going to start my December daily, um, as started yesterday. So instead of starting December 1st, it's going to start on my birthday, which is November 24th. And then I'll run through Christmas. So I won't go completely. My December daily will go November 24th through December 25th. It won't go December 1st through the 31st, if that makes sense, because we don't ever do anything on New Year's anyway, so um, it doesn't even make sense to even scrap up that. And then the week after Christmas, we're basically chilling anyway, so we're not doing anything. So um, I kind of have a very boring life. But, um, but that is the way I'm going to do it, I think. So, so, um, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'll be back sometime this week, um, with an embellishment, um, putting embellishments in the, um, page kits. And unless I hear from you sooner and, um, you want to see more of this process, but, um, there's not really too much more to show you other than different papers and putting them together in the same way that I did with these. So, and basically what I do is I just take this is paper pad, but I'll take um, the stack that I put together, put it in a baggie like this, one of these big baggies. And then as I put embellishments in each one, um, then I just zip it up and that's the page kit and like I said I reuse these baggies all the time these big ones will fit a 12 by 12 sheet so like one of these great big ones if I wanted to put an entire sheet in there it's plenty big to fit in there and I get these at the Dollar Tree these boxes of um, two gallon bags and there's usually like 10 in a in a box and I've been reusing these for years so so that's what I do and I don't specifically use these for December daily I use them all the time when I'm making page kits um, it's just easier to make page kits for me um, before I scrapbook I kind of learned this process through um, through Nicole Jones 911 um, her scrapbooking process um, I think Jen Scouse has made page kits before. Um, Coffee Mommy, um, she is no longer on YouTube, but she used to make page kits. She, I think she's the first one that I actually saw um, make the page kits. And then um, 
and it really makes it a lot faster and a lot easier to do your pages. So um, you might want to check out Nicole Jones 911 or Jen Scow. Um, I think Mercy Tierra has also um, made page kits as well. Um, and for any um, December Daily videos that you're interested in learning more about December Daily, um, go to Allie Edwards blog or her um, YouTube channel because she is um, the person who invented the concept of December Daily. So she has everything that you could ever possibly want to know about December Daily and she usually has classes that you can pay um, to take um, which are tutorial classes and she also has some December Daily kits if you are not interested in using your stash up and you just want to purchase a kit um, to make a December Daily album so um, so I'll be back like I said and thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye